Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the Bell Vortex helmet, available at Revzilla.com. At first glance, the Bell Vortex, in my opinion, is one of the best suited and most functional helmets under the $200 range at Revzilla.com. You're looking at right around that $180 mark for a graphic or a solid, and there are a lot of different options available, and you're looking really at a Snell 2010 certified helmet. Now, from an application standpoint, it does have an aggressive look to it, but the Bell Vortex, the Bell Vortex can be worn in any riding scenario, as well as the three-quarter as well as the tuck. We really look at this as a great, in my opinion, entry level track day helmet for a guy who needs that Snell certified helmet to get to the track depending on who he's racing with or riding with, but doesn't want to make that five, six, seven hundred dollar investment. You know, within the Bell line, they're, they're Baby helmet in the mix, it's full face. They're really entry level $100 helmet's gonna be that arrow. This thing's a light year ahead of that. And then from here, you'd step into something in that three to $400 range, like the RS1, which becomes a composite type of a material. It has some additional features and bells and whistles that are more race oriented. That's really a more aggressive sport helmet at that level. Now, from a fit standpoint, and remember, use this size chart, use this video as a guide, and if you're not sure, we ship for free and we exchange for free without a restock fee if you have to make a guess. But the size of, and the size and the shape here of the Bell Vortex are gonna be what we consider an intermediate oval. You know, five years ago, Bell went through some iterations on how its head shape was going to fit. With the latest generation of Stars, Vortexes, and RS1s, you really have a helmet that's that intermediate oval head shape that's slightly longer front to back, but really fits most people. Most people aren't round. Most people aren't extremely narrow front to back. They're going to be in that middle range. And the intermediate oval head shape we think from Bell was a really good choice. Now, if we look at it, past the fit, past the application, we get into the nuances. You're looking at a helmet that's around the 1600 gram mark. It's a polycarbonate shell. When you get into higher hel end helmets, you get that composite, that fiberglass, different aromatic and carbon fiber weaves that come into play. But again, you're looking sub $200. It's a polycarbonate, um, polycarbonate shell. We have a good amount of venting going on. We can see it here on the front. So we have chin vent. You're going to have a brow vent that's going to vent into the helmet. Chimney vents that vent to the EPS that circulate air through the helmet. And then that air that's moving through the helmet gets circulated and really sucked out of the back out of these extractors. These are what we call venturi vents in the business. They're not open and closed, but they're not exposed to where, you know, if you get caught in the rain, rain's really gonna get in there. But what happens is you get that high speed air coming over this sphere, and just like an airplane wing, it almost creates a vacuum, it creates lift behind the helmet, and that's gonna suck that warm, moist air across your head, across your scalp, pull that sweat away, and extract it out through the helmet. And you can actually see that we even have winglets down here, little side vents that kind of go around the sides of your head as well. Vents on the front are very easily found, open and closed, the glove too. They're not super big, but they're not low profile that you're searching for them. The shield is a nice distinguishing factor, here from Bell as well. Face shield, UV protected. It's gonna have an anti-fog coating on the inside as well as be able to get some air when you're using that chin vent up the front. But the nice part is that Bell is one of the few manufacturers that makes that photochromic shield option. So that transition shield, which is the actual transition eyeglass technology to where when the UV from the sun hits it, it immediately turns dark within a couple seconds, you can upgrade that shield from here. It's a nice shield mechanism as well because we can see that it has a cracked position for the detent to get some airflow, but then really it goes up and it locks in. Also, shield change is very fast. Bell has one of the quickest mechanisms. Watch, I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna put my finger on it, both sides. I'm gonna snap it and you're all done. To put the shield back on, you put the shield in, into the 12 o'clock position or really like the 10 o'clock, as far as up, up as it's gonna go. Two snaps and you're all finished. Two years ago, it was a mixed bag. These days, many helmet factor manufacturers have really gotten this down pat, and it's really nice to see it. So remember, you're getting a lot of these creature comforts in a helmet that, again, is Snell 2010 certified. Now, if I pull up my donut, we can go right to the guts. They're wicking, antimicrobial. You're gonna be able to wash, pull apart this entire liner. You can notice on the Vortex here that it has a nice, solid neck roll that's not removable, that you're going to be able to get a good seal against your face. The chin curtain, the chin spoiler here is removable. Moving into the chin strap, they use the Magna Fusion that we fir first saw come up on the Bell Star, which means that you're never gonna have this guy flapping around on you. It just uses that neodymium magnet to just kind of suck in right there and stay put. As I begin to break out the guts, I start to pull my cheek pads, three snaps. There are pockets on the inside of this helmet as well for speakers. If you're one of those guys that likes to run a communicator, this helmet will take a comm system, an aftermarket. Notice here's my, my contoured face 
my contoured cheek pads with my cutouts for my communicator. We can see the snaps on the back, how they're going to integrate with the helmet. And notice how that cheek pad has a size on it. We do sell other size cheek pads. So you can, depending on the shape of your face, you can really tune this helmet. But when you're thinking about fit, it's really about the crown of your head. It's about the, the part right above your eyebrows. Draw that imaginary circle all the way around your head. And how the helmet fits there is really what's going to denote your size. From there, you can always change the size, bigger or smaller, on the cheek pads. So here, and I believe I have a size medium. This is a 50 millimeter cheek pad here. I'm going to pull out the comfort liner now. Four snaps on the front. One of the things that Bell does that I really like, if you come in here tightly, you're going to see right around this ridge. This is where the helmet liner connects to the actual helmet shell. So by doing this at this place, and again, I'm going to pull this bad boy out. By doing it up here at the front, what you do is you eliminate a pressure point that if you had snaps could be on your forehead. So you have this area where it connects that's never creating a pressure point. If anything, it's moving it so that you have a front that's very smooth on this 3D comfort liner. You can see the shape of it. Lots of mesh, 3D foam, it's ventilated. And then these two snaps, which fall underneath the base of the ridge of your head, they're right around the back of your neck. You're never going to feel those. That's an actually a low pressure area. The area of highest pressure on the helmet is really going to be around this ridge. Again, it's right above your eyebrows and creating a line all the way around your head. Looking at it at the inside, again, washable, rinsable, removable. Summertime, if you're riding, if you're a sweaty mess, pull over to a gas station, run it under the faucet in the bathroom, let it sit on a picnic table for 10 minutes, put it back in your helmet, and you're good to go. Now, if we move on to the interior guts, you're going to see the ventilation channels, and you're going to see also the ear cutouts. So let's start with the ear cutouts here where my finger is. I'm going to move this guy around. You can see that ear, big ear cutout right by that red dot there. That's one of the cheek pad pieces that would connect to. That big cutout is where your communicator is going to go. Nothing's worse than a helmet that doesn't have a, any cutout for a communicator because it creates a pressure point over time. And then if I pull the helmet up and go this way with it, you're going to see these big ridges inside the helmet that start with those chimney vents and funnel that air back to the extractors in the back of the helmet. Again, a nice touch. So remember, Sub $200 Snell 2010 should fit most people, is track worthy, but has a nice solid look to it. This matte, this matte black that I have in front of me is the same price as any of the other graphics, which give you options as well. But really, it's a classic helmet that whether you're on a cruiser, on a sport bike, on a race bike, it's not going to clash with any of your gear. It's just a classic style helmet in really a classic motorcycle design. So I want to hear your feedback on the Bell Vortex. I know there are thousands of you out there that are wearing this helmet. I would love to, for you to review it on RevZilla.com on our product page or leave us your feedback in the Q&A section. Also on RevZilla TV, our YouTube channel, leave us your comments in the comment stream. We want to hear from you, your opinion, what your experience has been like. Also, you can subscribe to us. Stay up to date with all of the latest videos that we're constantly rolling out here at RevZilla.com. I mentioned are pretty amenable shipping options, free shipping, free exchange, no restock, after 30 bucks, and then any product, which is Bell Vortex certainly is over 100 bucks, earns TeamZilla cash to be able to be earned and applied to your next order. It'll save you some money in the long run by continuing to shop RevZilla. Find the Bell Vortex helmet at RevZilla.com slash Bell. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.